two ways that you can go about importing the course content that you've created this year into your next year's courses. It's going to feel amazing, so let's get started. First thing first, you want to create a sandbox course because your official Canvas courses for the fall will not be available for quite some time. So on your dashboard on the right hand side, you're going to see a button that says start a new course. Make sure you give it a name that has sandbox in the title so that way you can distinguish between what you've played in this summer and what you um, are going to have officially for the fall. Once you've done that, you have a couple different things to think about. There are some templates available, and you can kind of browse them in Commons if you're interested. We also sneak a little, uh, little secret for you. We do have some alternative templates out there. So if you um, aren't seeing what you're liking in the current templates, reach out to your coach, and we might have some extras up our sleeve. So first option for importing is if you want to use one of those templates. So the first thing after you make your sandbox is you can import selected content. So on your homepage of that sandbox course, you're going to find a button that says import existing content. It's going to bring you to a screen where you're going to say you want to copy a Canvas course, find the course from the fall, and you're going to want to choose select specific content. Once you hit import, you're going to see a screen that looks like this where you can select specific content. If you're doing it this way with a template, we would recommend avoiding importing modules and pages, but everything else is free game. You can also use those arrows in that selected content and just pick specific assignments and summatives that you want to pull in a little at a time. So after you've selected the content you want, now it's time to rearrange and build this course and organize it for a new semester. Now, the second option is to not use a template at all, which seems bananas. But if you really, really like what you created in the fall and want to dump your entire fall course into a sandbox class for, for next fall, I would not recommend using a template. So this option allows you to pull in your weekly overview pages. It allows you to pull in modules and just tweak a little bit. So this might be a good option if you're OK kind of setting up those protocols on your own and adjusting as needed. So if you're thinking of using your entire course from the fall of 2021, I would recommend doing a little bit of spring cleaning. And what I mean by that is going to your last enrollments and finding this fall's course and just finding assignments that maybe you didn't use or they were blank. I have a ton of stuff that I created but never used. So taking time to do some spring cleaning will really help in the long run. Once you're done, you're going to start importing your fall 2021 into a sandbox course. So to do that in your sandbox, you're again gonna go to import existing content but this time you're going to import all content. Now, when you do that, I would suggest adjusting your due dates by just removing them all together. So that way it's a little less confusing for you and for students. Then what you're gonna have to do is just tweak a little bit. So you're gonna have to tweak your due dates, the module dates and headings, the assignment categories, and just making sure that everything is linked properly. But you'll have all of your content there to reuse. And then finally, as I said before, make sure you check out that um, Canvas protocol sheet to make sure that your navigation and your organization is meeting the requirements for the district. So if you have any questions, if you want to walk through any of these steps together or you need another option, feel free to reach out and be happy to help.